inside the build folder and it didn't show me the file okay because I cleaned it so let me build the file now build the project so when I build the project it is giving me an error let's see what's the error is provisional profile which does not match the current oh, okay it's capital and small i so that is a problem so what I'll do is I'll instead of changing it on the provisional profile everywhere else I'll just change it in my project instead of I didn't knew that it was capital thought it was small anyway let's go here and can just make it capital okay clean it again the error will go away build it since it was cleaning my build so now it's again there's another error yes more than once okay since I created uh, two times it shows that the distribution is twice so what I need to do is I need to delete the previous one so this one I need to delete it delete so it should have only one so now that I have only one I can clean it again so this video helps you <laughs> see all the different errors that you might get uh, now I build it again hopefully oh, okay, good one more error entitlements file so what happened was in the previous version they used to ask you to enter an entitlements file in the hmm, in the project so I go to the project setting let me see okay Porter, project settings I go to the same code signing okay where is my code signing here entitlements so it's asking for I'll just delete it because I don't have an entitlements file so clean it build it again now hopefully it will work no issues no issues okay okay one more error <laughs> see what entitlements file uh, because probably it's also there in the sometimes it's also there in the project file yeah here yeah. still there so if I delete this from the target also now it will not be there what happens normally is target file uh, inherits from the project file so if you set it in project file it's good now if you have multiple targets that's when it's helpful to set in each of them sometimes you want to have a target for iPhone for iPad for different things so that time it's helpful to set it in the in the target but if you have only one target you know it's just set it in the set it one place and it will take everywhere so now let me clean it again and hope that it builds this time and I clean and build mm -hmm. The building, building, building. So build, build, build. A lot of files, a lot of things added, a lot of frameworks in this file, a uh, lot of warnings, you know, Twitter and Facebook warnings. This map has some warnings. Add a spotter has some warnings. So probably some functions are not written properly, or some variables are not used, or. So let's see. So by that time, let's go here back to that folder that you opened. So if you see the distribution iPhone um, is here. So it will create two files. One file is the app file, which you will need to upload it to the iTunes Store. Uh, it's it asks me if it's trying to access Xcode is trying to access my keychain. So it's it's a security feature saying do you want to allow? I always always allow. So there's two files. One is uh, one is a app file and one is a symbolicate file, dsim file, which helps you do crash logs, testing and all that. But anyway, so what you do is you right click on this file, you say compress and this is what you upload to the app store. Now how do you upload to the app store? Now, uh, how do you upload to the pay, uh, app store? So you, I already created the provisional certificate, so this is done, uh, then I can go back to my Apple developer okay iOS dev center and there is another link iTunes connect so this time I'll go to iTunes connect or you can directly go there iTunes connect manage your applications 
side manage your application there is add new app it will show all your previous apps and you since you need to add new app I'll say add new app after you add new app you give the name of the app name of the app is locate an Indian restaurant school number let's take this one uh, and com so this is what we entered in the in, in the developer portal before com so it automatically picks up from there next I say continue okay then it says when do you want it available uh, you can say whatever date you want it to be available 2012 whatever you can enter whatever you want then price tag how much you want to sell the app for you can do a free app which will show the pricing matrix uh, no, which like once you click on the pricing matrix it will show you how much you can sell your app tire 85 is 9.99 if you want to give it for 9.99 just select 85 but i don't think that's a fair price for this app it's a free uh, discount for education institute since it's a free app it doesn't matter but there is also a discount for education so check the box you have offered to a discount to education institute so if people who are who have student accounts or yeah, available date you can enter anything when it, when you want it available the app to come in the app store so if you want it now it's uh, June whatever date what is today's date June 8th June 8th 2011 so you can do that but it's it's not going to be available today because Apple has to review the app and come back to you then you enter details like version number this is same as your version number here version number where is it okay it's it's not it's in the plist file side resources this application was made using xcode 3 so it has all the previous files but xcode 4 doesn't show it shows in supporting files the plist so here is the version number bundle version 1.0 1.0 1 description locate an indian rest Tower okay, I entered a comma. I guess okay. So, category uh, let's say lifestyle. Uh, any other category that you can think of? You can ask me questions and you can tell me it's okay. <laughs> so, what okay, let's say reference, whatever. I never seen the secondary, secondary category shown these days. Now, keywords. Uh, Indian restaurant locate spot copyright say uh, app Nazi whatever the name normally I give the same name as the email app Nazi URL app Nazi app Nazi policy no policy review notes if you want Apple guys to know some things special about the app that there is no data right now.